Text 49 One who is self-controlled and unattached and who disregards all material enjoyments can obtain, by practice of renunciation, the highest perfect stage of freedom from reaction. Real renunciation means that one should always think himself part and parcel of the Supreme Lord and therefore think that he has no right to enjoy the results of his work. Since he is part and parcel of the Supreme Lord, the results of his work must be enjoyed by the Supreme Lord. That is actually Krishna Consciousness. The person acting in Krishna Consciousness is really a sannyasi, one in the renounced order of life. By such a mentality, one is satisfied because he is actually acting for the Supreme. Thus, he is not attached to anything material. He becomes accustomed to not taking pleasure in anything beyond the transcendental happiness derived from the service of the Lord. A sannyasi is supposed to be free from the reactions of his past activities, but a person who is in Krishna consciousness automatically attains this perfection without even accepting the so-called order of renunciation. This stage of mind is called Yoga Ruddha or the perfectional stage of yoga. As confirmed in the third chapter, one who is satisfied in himself has no fear of any kind of reaction from his activity. Text 50 O son of Kunti, learn from me how one who has achieved this perfection can attain to the supreme perfectional stage, Brahma, the stage of highest knowledge, by acting in a way I shall now summarize. The Lord describes for Arjun how one can achieve the highest perfectional stage simply by being engaged in his occupational duty, performing that duty for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One attains the supreme stage of Brahman simply by renouncing the result of his work for the satisfaction of the Supreme Lord. That is the process of self-realization. The actual perfection of knowledge is in attaining pure Krishna consciousness that is described in the following verses. <laughs>